right now we're inside the uh, GLF silos at Buffalo Riverworks. Uh, it's about 100 years old in here. Everything is still standing as it was back in the day. And um, we wanted to utilize this space because it was so unique for Buffalo Chalk Fest. The walls have a very cool curvature to them and uh, it really frames the artist's work that are working on the walls. We have all different kinds of walls in here, all different shapes and sizes. So it really lends itself to the artist and what, you, what the kind of piece that they would want to put up. Growing up in Western New York and Buffalo, uh, I grew up in North Buffalo and uh, I was living with my mom. She used to make all my Halloween costumes every year from scratch, you know, pretty much anything I wanted. Progressing and when I got into being a teenager, I used to work at a local haunted house for about nine years, scaring people and building the sets. And I wanted to be a filmmaker as well as an artist. And uh, so now that really transcends itself into my uh, Chalk Festival here at Buffalo River Works. Uh, the Chalk Fest Buffalo is a big part of like my life and putting myself into you know something that I love. So lots of people hear Chalk Festival and they assume sidewalk chalk, but most of what uh, the professional artists and most of what our artists are using here is actually uh, chalk pastels. Uh, you get a real variety of color, you get very deep, bright colors. I mean, the more colorful the better, but I mean with Halloween you can go black and white, you can go full color, and the sky's the limit with that stuff. Techniques differ between artists. Everybody has their own favorite way of chalking. Most chalk artists stay on the ground because, you know, You've got a big surface down there, but with this festival, it's so unique, so you get to explore different ways of doing it. But uh, I've learned some very professional and helpful ways to save yourself because when you're blending, usually you're using, I was using my finger a lot of my ear, and it used to rip off a lot of skin off our hands, and your hands would actually really hurt at the end of the day. So uh, one of my friends who uh, also chalks here with me, she told me about using uh, makeup sponges and brushes. Uh, that blend extremely well and you don't have to tear your hands up and uh, it really is it's just these little things that you learn as you go along as an artist you learn from other people you learn from the artists around you and it's another great uh, feature of being around so many different people. So uh, we have this fall and Halloween theme every year and the hope is that uh, everybody as creatively as possible follows the theme. We don't want them to stick to a type thought out process of everything. Don't think of the first thing you think of fall. So dig deep, find something that would make us go wow, like bring it out and like surprise us. You know, everybody from little kids to, you know, these full blown professionals have like surprised us with what they've drawn. And uh, moving forward down the line, uh, we, we're gonna try to stick to the, the, the fall and Halloween theme, but we might go even more specific. So maybe one of the years coming up, we could do something with uh, what's your favorite horror movie and go with that what's your favorite horror book, or you know, who knows moving forward.